Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're watching this video. Uh, it's good to be here with you once again. I want to offer an, a simple image to help us understand where we might be at in our faith journey, because we're all at different places along that journey into becoming like Christ in a full, life-giving relationship with Jesus. And it's the image of a, a simple image of a bucket, a faith bucket. Now, the funny thing about a faith bucket is it's got little holes in the bottom. Everyone's faith bucket has little holes in the bottom. And that's an absolute reality because if faith isn't practiced, in most cases, it's lost in some way. When we're not practicing our faith, when people don't practice their faith, their faith starts to change and dwindle and even disappear for some. We come to Mass on Sundays, we celebrate Mass on Sundays to fill up that faith bucket. But that's not the only way of filling up the faith bucket. And indeed, it's, it's not even the first, second or third way of filling up the faith bucket. It's, it's that one thing we do each week which is absolutely necessary, but what precedes that is a life of healthy, daily, personal, private prayer. Good works reaching out to others, being Christ for them, reading the scriptures, getting to know not just about Jesus, but getting to know intimately who Jesus is. And we celebrate Mass so that we can be nourished by each other and really fill up the faith bucket. Now the challenge is with the faith bucket, those little holes in it, remember, if we're not doing the other things, Mass will never be enough to cause the faith bucket to overflow. Our capacity to share what we've been given by Jesus is, is kind of akin to our faith bucket overflowing. If it's never overflowing, we're never going to have enough of, of whatever you want to call it, the good stuff, the, the over, overflowing joy, peace and love to be able to offer it to other people. And so that's why... Uh, you may have heard me preach about it before. Mass is not enough. And I'll say that with the greatest respect of people who have celebrated Mass their whole lives. But I was at a talk recently and the speaker was speaking in a way which presumed all those other things in the faith bucket. And this lady courageously stood up and she says, So and so, the speaker, you're presuming that I pray every day that I spend time with Jesus. And she very courageously said that she wasn't, that wasn't part of her spiritual practice. So friends, I just want to offer that as something to think and pray about. How do you fill your faith bucket on a daily basis so that when we come to Mass, it's that thing which causes an overflow because already our faith bucket is pretty full from the daily things that we do, particularly daily, personal, private prayer, spending time with Jesus. It's a challenge to do, but the fruits are so tangible once we put the time and effort in, God rewards us because God desires nothing more and nothing less than intimacy with us to pour himself out into our lives so that we know Jesus, love him and desire to serve him by sharing our faith with others. May God bless you in your faith bucket filling daily journey.